Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a new beauty review on the Urban Decay Afterglow Highlighting Palette. This is exclusive to Ulta. Urban Decay came out with their Afterglow highlighters as individual pans a while ago, and they are available both at Sephora and Ulta and anywhere else Urban Decay is sold. But recently they launched this palette. So the outside of the box is this really pretty, almost holographic, rosy pink mauve metallic box. It is what feels like cardboard and it has a metallic closure. So although it's not the sleekest, it is very sturdy and it feels like a nice weight, like it doesn't feel cheap at all. I have traveled with this a lot. I throw it into my bag or my purse or wherever I feel like it and it holds up really well. And I really like that the outside still looks really nice for the amount of wear and tear that I have put it through. So when you open it up, you get a mirror on this side and it says get it on glow repeat, which I think is cute. And then on the other side, you have all four of the shades. So this one right here is Bliss. This is Peroxide. This is NSFW, which is not safe for work. It took me the longest time to know what that acronym stood for and I felt like such an idiot, but now I know what it means. This one is called Side Piece. So the formula of these is supposed to be a long wearing formula. They're technically boasted to last eight hours and the powder is super, super finely milled, almost to a creamy powder finish. This goes for all of the Afterglow highlighters, including the single pans. I do own Sin and Fireball in the single pan and to be honest, when I first bought those, I was super underwhelmed. They didn't swatch very well and I just didn't grab for them very often. But when this came out, I had to pick it up because I'm a junkie and I'm glad I did and I'll tell you why in a second. These powders are also supposed to have light diffusing pigments which kind of enhances the glow you get. And the concept behind it being a creamy powder texture is that they say it will never look cakey or super powdery or kind of gross no matter how much you apply or what colors you apply. This palette is $34 for four highlighters, which I personally think is a great deal because most highlighters today, let's be honest, are right around $34 anyways. Bliss is kind of your paler gold with a true gold shift. Peroxide is a pinky iridescent shade. It's definitely the coolest shade out of all four of them. NSFW is a peachy corally pink with kind of a gold base running through it. And then side piece is a little bit more of a deeper, almost bronzy gold with some deeper peach tones. They kind of swatch a little bit patchy. They look like they would be ashy or chalky, but when you apply them onto the skin and really blend them in and let them melt into the skin. They are beautiful. The way that I like using this palette best actually is I'll mix all the shades depending on my look. I like that there are warmer, cooler, and neutral shades, but I like that they're primarily golden based just because for my skin tone, um, a little bit lighter to deeper skin tones, golds are just going to be more flattering. When you get into cooler or more silver undertoned or pearly undertoned, they look ashy very quickly on deeper skin tones. Also, they do apply lighter than they look in the pan, so keep that in mind. Like Even though it shows up as pink in the pan, it's a very, very subtle pink on the skin, which I'll show you in a second. I am wearing it super, super lightly, but I put this makeup on probably at, I wanna say 9.30 this morning, and it is currently 9.12, so that little bit of a glow is definitely a combination of just just my makeup kind of melting into my skin. I do have oily kind of combo skin, so it could be a little bit of oil, let's be honest. But you can definitely still see a little bit of that glow, which is crazy. So to right off the bat prove the eight hour point, definitely does last a good, good amount of time. So let me zoom you guys in and let's get into the demo. I totally forgot that I wasn't wearing false lashes. I actually am wearing just mascara and a fairly new mascara, which I did a video on, so if you haven't seen it yet, I will leave that linked down below for you guys. But let's go ahead and get started. So here's my palette. This is a Real Techniques setting brush, but I love using this for highlighter. I'm gonna dip into Side Piece and NSFW, 
and then pop that onto the highest parts of my cheekbones and get this glow going. So you can see, compared to the swatches, it's just such a pretty, like, radiant, natural glow. I'm going to grab the pink one, Peroxide, and I'm just going to top that on top, <laughs> just so you guys can see what the pinker shade will do. So it's super subtle, but it just immediately cools it down a little bit, and you just see a tiny, tiny flash of pink. These are just kind of casts of color. They're more sheer powders with iridescence to them. I used NSFW and side piece, the bottom two, and I'm just popping that on, and then I'm going back into peroxide and just popping that over. The formula of it, it really is like a creamy gel type of formula almost, and I love it because it melts into the skin. It looks super potent, but it still looks like my skin is just radiant. And I forgot the last one. Oh, and it's a highlighter that I can bring kind of lower onto my cheek or the rest of my face, and it doesn't look absurd like I have a ton of shiny, glittery things all over my face. So now I'm gonna go into side piece, and I'm just gonna pinch the brush and bring it down the center of my nose. I am also gonna pop into Bliss, and I'm gonna put that into my inner corner and just blend it up. I always like to blend my inner corner highlight out, up and out a little bit to give it a more blown out look. And then a little bit right there. And when you use a more condensed brush, you can see how much more potent the highlight gets. So technically, when I just did that down my nose, I definitely should have used this brush because now my whole nose is just, just a glow bomb. So we're gonna just fix that up real quick. All I did to just kind of blend out the nose was take my powder brush and I just lightly dabbed that out and blended it. I am gonna take the same brush that I used for my eyeliner and I'm gonna go into Bliss. Sorry, this wasn't my eyeliner, the inner corner highlight. And I'm just gonna take that down the center of the nose. Just really lightly. And then as always, this is just a Sonia Kashuk bronzer brush. So I'm just gonna blend out the edges. That was it for the demo. You guys saw how quick, how easy it is to get super, super glowy, radiant, radiant skin. You can build it up. You can make it more subtle. You saw me use all four colors. They're very, very, very wearable. I don't know if like I'm the only one who's weird like that and wants to check for scents, but they don't smell like anything weird. Urban Decay is a great brand where they, I believe, are cruelty free and um, maybe also vegan. I will check that. I would suggest it coming from a place of buying it with the lowest expectations possible. And now it's been like my go-to for a long time now. That brings me to the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this review demo with swatches. Leave a comment down below for me and let me know what your favorite highlighter of the moment is, please, because I will probably go out and purchase every single one that I don't own just to try because I'm that kind of a person when it comes to my glow. But as always, thank you guys so much much for tuning in and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye guys!